Hi, I'm Scott Schauer. I've owned the Soccer Center for about 25 years now. When did I get started with the Soccer Center? In 1994, I had this wild idea. A friend of mine owned a bowling alley and next door to it was a parking lot and we built the first one outdoors in the LA area. Well, with the climate that we have here and the little, we don't have snow and rain like in, in the East Coast, so we're able to build it outdoors with the turf, with the artificial turf. We have our games outdoors. There's no ceiling, no roof. It's not inside a building, the original one I first built. So what's different today than when I started? I think it's much bigger. It's busier. We have more... Uh, more opportunities for people to come participate here. In the beginning it was just soccer, in the beginning it was just our main business was adults over 30 and now it's a wide variety from soccer to dodgeball to a gym to uh, we sell beer to uh, a jump house area. I mean it's just a lot bigger than it was before. Why I wanted to get into the industry, I think my son who loved the game and I knew nothing about it and I became a coach in soccer and nobody played soccer when I was a kid. It was a new sport here in the U.S. So what made me want to get into it is he wanted to continue to play. In the city of Santa Clarita, there wasn't room in the parks. It was growing quickly and I thought it was an opportunity and I jumped on it. How this facility benefits community, quite honestly, these people wouldn't have any place to go to play soccer in Santa Clarita in the evening if we didn't open up. I mean, there's the uh, the possibility of playing at the parks, but they're overcrowded. There's so many club teams, so many participants, and this is more recreational soccer. So it's really helped the community. It gave the average mom or dad an opportunity to go out and play a sport they never played before. But I think what motivates me is the excitement of the employees, the excitement of the players, the kids, the smiles on the kids' faces. That's what motivates me. That's what makes it rewarding for me. Thank God it's paid all my bills too in the meantime. <laughs> my favorite part of my job I think as it's changed over the years. I think in the beginning, my favorite part was building it and creating it and scheduling it. And back then, our schedules were done in Excel. We didn't have the Dash program that runs our business for. We didn't have what we have today. But I think what, what really motivates me to keep going right now is the 40 employees I have that keeping them going. And they're all on a profit sharing plan now. And nothing makes me feel better than when I'm able to distribute profits to all the employees. What we've done new since we moved inside and went into a building and a location inside a building is we've added dodgeball, which is a huge sport uh, that the kids love. We have cornhole here. One night is nothing for cornhole. We have a fitness gym that an ex-NFL guy leases from us and trains athletes. Uh, we never sold beer before, and uh, I'm surprised how many people want to just have a nice cold beer after a soccer game and that it becomes a community thing. You'll see our Friday nights, this is family night here, and that's nice to see the whole community get together and hang out. Anytime anybody asks me what I'm most proud of, the first thing that always comes to my mind is my son. And when I built this, I built it for my family, my son, and I, my goal was this is going to be his baby one day. He's now a contractor and doing wonderful, so that's kind of gone out the window. So. I think what I am most proud of, in 25 years, we've never had a losing month. And it's not only because of me, it's because of the community, it's because of my staff, it's because of the work ethic of everybody else here. I'm just lucky that I was able to put it together, but there's not many businesses, especially in this business, that over 25 years have never had a losing month.